chica. All right, in this video we're going to take a look at solving a system of equations and we're going to focus on the substitution method, uh, also called the replacement method. Uh, other videos out there for the addition method and the comparison method, so you can look for them as well. So when we're solving a system of equations, we're simply trying to find the values of our variables that satisfy both equations. So I'll have a value of x and y that work in my first equation. The same values of x and y uh, satisfy my second equation as well. It also may not be x and y. You may have other letters. It doesn't really make a, deal, a big deal what the letters are. Uh, when we're looking at two uh, equations, and both are linear, which is all we're looking at in uh, grade 10 math, we have three different possible outcomes. We could have uh, two lines that cross once and only once. So I'd have my two axes. I'd have two lines. Here's one. Here's another. And they cross once and only once. That's usually the case, and we're going to be focusing on that situation. It is possible, though, that we have a couple other situations. We could have a situation where our lines are parallel in which case they never cross, so that means we would have no solution, or in other words, no uh, pairing that would work in, in both equations. It's also possible that we have a situation where essentially the lines are the same line, just uh, maybe written in a different form. And so in a case like that, whatever works in one will also work in the other, so we have an infinite number of solutions. But we're going to be focusing on this situation at the top, because it's definitely the most interesting. Uh, we'll touch on the other two only briefly. All right, so let's take a look uh, at an example. So we've got two linear equations here, uh, 8x plus 3y equals 5, and the second one is written in functional form, y equals negative 3x plus 1. All right, so for the substitution method, go figure, we're going to substitute. We're going to substitute y in the first equation with the value of y from the second equation. It's also possible if you have one equation that's written, say, x equals, then you would substitute for x instead of y. So what does that mean? I'm going to take my first equation. I'm going to rewrite it, but rather than writing in y, I'm going to substitute in what y equals in the second one, which is negative 3x plus 1. So I've removed y. I've replaced it with what y equals. And since they're equal, that's fine. I haven't changed anything, just to, just the way it looks. And then my 5 stays the same on the other side. Now what's happened is in both of these equations up here, I have two variables. I've got x and y, two letters. Down here, once I've done my substitution, I only have one variable. And that's kind of the whole idea of uh, systems of equations. How do I go from situations where I have two variables to eliminate one of the variables so I'm left with just one letter? And then I can basically use algebra to solve. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand it. So that means I'm going to multiply the 3 by all the pieces in the brackets. And it's important to note, make sure that you multiply every piece in the brackets. One of the common mistakes is people will take the 3 and only multiply it by the uh, negative 3x and not multiply it by the plus 1. So we're going to make sure that we do both. So positive times a negative is a negative. 3 times 3 is 9, and so we're left with negative 9x. And then we got to look at the second piece as well. Positive times a positive. Positive 3 times 1 is 3 equals 5. And then after that, we're going to solve for the remaining variable. So we're only left with x's now. We're going to solve for x. So we're going to combine our like terms. 8x minus 9x, so that gives me negative x, or negative 1x, plus 3 equals 5. I'm going to bring my 3 to the other side by subtracting it from both sides. I'm left with negative x equals 2. And then i got to get rid of my negative. Well, that's actually like dividing by negative 1. And whatever I do to one side, I do to the other side. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. x divided by 1 is just x. And here I've got positive divided by a negative, and 2 divided by 1 is 2. So x equals negative 2. Now at this point, it's exactly like any other system of equations. You found the first variable, and you'll go finding the second variable, and then checking your solution. So you can stop here if you're familiar with the rest of the steps, um, but we'll take a look at them. So the next piece is to replace my value of my variable into one of my original equations. So I'm going to go back up. I'll take my first equation up here, 
and I'm going to replace negative 2n for x. Again, it's important that I go back to my original equations here. I'm just going to take out x, I'll replace it with negative 2, and then I'm going to solve for y. Remember, solving a system of equation means that you're going to find out both variables. So 8 times negative 2 gives me negative 16 plus 3y equals 5. Add 16 to both sides, or bring the 16 to the other side and change the sign. This cancels out. 3y equals 21. And I don't want to know 3y, I just want to know y, so I divide by 3 over here, divide by 3 over here, again, cancels out, and y equals 7. So if we've done this correct, then these two lines would cross when x is negative 2 and y is 7. And next thing we're going to do again is we're going to check using the other equation. So I used 8x plus 3y equals 5 to find my value of y, so I'm going to check using my second equation, y equals negative 3x plus 1. And all I need to do there is take my values of x and y and substitute them in. So y is 7, negative 3 times x, which is negative 2, plus 1. And then negative times a negative is a positive. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1. And 6 plus 1 equals 7. 7 equals 7. And there you have it. Uh, check out our other videos, and thanks for watching. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.